Please stand. Welcome to St. Dominic's Church for this celebration of the Eucharist. This evening, we celebrate the Feast of the Lord's Supper. Welcome everybody to St. Dominic's Parish, especially those who are visiting us, guests, you are welcome. Today is the most important day for us. On this day, Holy Thursday, our Jesus, Lord and Savior instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist and the ministerial priesthood. We give thanks to Jesus and worship together with one mind and heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice for what we have and what blessings we have received. On this day, Holy Thursday, for God bestowed upon us his mercy, his love, and his grace. Acknowledge our sins and seek God's mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to stand before his presence. Lord Jesus, you love us with an everlasting love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your mercy is bountiful. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to be full of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth. Of good will. We praise you, 
Let us pray. O oh God, we have called us to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the house in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you shall eat it. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. 
It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lamb. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood. from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took a cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, we, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, put on his robe, and returned to the table, Jesus said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, Holy Thursday commemorates the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the priesthood. 
it is a day dedic to rededicate ourselves to Christ's message through total dedication of oneself and willingness to serve others yes today the church celebrates the wonderful gift of god to her and the entire world the institution of the holy eucharist holy eucharist brothers and sisters is the food that god generously made available to nourish us in our spiritual journey according to pope francis he says eucharist is not just a, a weekly celebration of our faith but radically affects our relationship with others especially with the most in need what is mass why we catholics give so important to the eucharist holy mass during this pandemic we know the value of not attending the mass not receiving the body and blood of christ why after all mass is very important for us catholics what happens in the mass mass we come together first thing people come from different homes different situations some sad some lonely some satisfied some fulfilled at but there is unity we catholics are united in that way because we think that coming together for mass is very very important for us because we believe despite of all problems god's power is at work in the world am i right despite of all the problems god's power is at work in the world and god's strength can overcome human weaknesses this is what we catholics believe and this is true of people of every race color and age in the eucharist brothers and sisters in which we participate we are given grace to feel forgiven and ready to forgive others we come to mass we go to mass not because we are worthy or we want to appear better than others no but we know rather it is because we know we are always in need of god's grace love and mercy and these come to us through the body and blood of christ eucharist brothers and sisters affects life of our christian communities our church receives its mission and identity from the eucharist which jesus instituted on the on this holy thursday we call it last supper has christ instituted the holy eucharist on holy thursday that also equally marks the institution of the ministerial priesthood so priesthood is also god's gift to his church that means it is god who freely calls the ministerial nature of priesthood my dear brothers and sisters derives from first from the lives of melchizedek and second from christ and this mystic mystical nature of priesthood comes to fulfillment at the last supper on holy thursday and at every mass through the consecration of the body and blood of christ which is transformed into body and blood of christ to the when we consecrate the bread and wine this is that is transformed into body and blood of christ therefore brothers and sisters remember priest is the defender of the truth 
he stands with the angels to give glory to god he causes sacrifices to raise god he shares christ's priesthood he refash- refashions the creation and restores creation to god's image and finally at the base of all these is the humility of christ you see in today's gospel we read christ chose to wash the feet of his disciples due to this pandemic we are not having the washing of the feet but this is what we commemorate every year jesus got up from the table washed the feet of his disciples rather them washing his feet are the most humblest part of our body am i right most humblest part of our body they carry the weight of the entire body and after a journey they gather dirt and to hence to wash and kiss the feet is really a gesture of great humility and love brothers and sisters we every person should realize that jesus has shown us by washing of the feet and he is inviting us to co- copy what he has done for us he is asking us to bring hope and nourishment to each other to become bread for others be life let us do it may god bless us and we thank the lord for this wonderful sacrament of holy eucharist and the priesthood may god be praised forever amen now we will have the prayers of the faithful the church may we through the graces of this sacred triduum grow in our ability to bear Christ to the world with confidence and grace we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for governments and world leaders may the gospel message of peace and blessing inform and direct their decisions and actions we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers for the sick and the dying especially those names that are placed on our altar may Christ the healer give them hope and courage we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all of us gathered here may the lord bless us keep us faithful and make us ever more holy in this upcoming easter season we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all who are sick or housebound that they may know the gentle touch of god's healing love We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory and look upon the face of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Pray in silence now. Almighty and living God, We praise and glorify you for your steadfast and eternal mercy as we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness is the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Us be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and honor for our good and good of all God's holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For wherever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, blessed Joseph, her spouse, and blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting health. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your holy family, which we make to you, as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that may, it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with the eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation, be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, 
in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abandoned mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am it worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only through the word my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that just as we renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and to the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl to the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Pray, pray to Saint Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the, to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O more, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too, each one of us, by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Saint Joseph, Pray. thanks for joining us for this, uh, for this Holy Thursday Mass. Now I would be processing with the Ciborium through the three aisles, Whatever way you wish to venerate or respect the Jesus, you are welcome, you are free to do any how to dispose yourself to the Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And after that, it will be placed here on the altar for silent adoration. It may go up to 10 o'clock, depends on the people attending for the adoration. Walter Candle.
Angelingua gloriosi, corporis mysterium, sanguinisque preziosi, quem in mundi preziosum, fructus ventris generosi, rex effudit gentium. Nobis datus, nobis natus, Ex intacta virgine, et in mundo conversatus, sparso verbi semine, sui moras incolatus, miro clausit ordine. In supreme nocte cene, Recium benscum fratribus, Observata lege plene, Civis in legalibus, Cibum turbe duodene, Suetat suis manibus, Verbum caro panem vero, Carmen me ficit, fit quis sanguis quis dimerum, et si sensus deficit, ad firmandum cor sincerum, sola fide sufficit. Tantum ergo sacramentum, Venere murcernui, Et antiquum documentum, Novo cedat ritui, Restet fide supplementum, sensum defectui. Genitori, genitoque, lauset jubilatio. Salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abut roque, comparsit laudatio. Antum ergo sacramentum, Venere murcernui, Et antiquum documentum, Novo cedat ritui, Restet fide supplementum, sensum defectui. Genitori, genitoque, lauset jubilatio, 
Salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abut roque, comparsit laudatio. Amen.